Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. Some of my subscribers have asked about the glasses that I used to wear in my old videos, the different pairs that I had, and why I don't wear them anymore. So today, I'll tell you about and show you all of my old glasses. In the late 70s, I remember one night I was reading a Charlie Brown book in the living room with very few lights on. My dad told me not to do that. He said it was bad for my eyes. Well, he must have been right, because by the time that early 1981 rolled around, I was having trouble seeing the blackboard in school. My parents took me to the optometrist, and I got my first pair of eyeglasses. I still remember standing in my parents' front yard and staring out, so excited to see the world in focus again. These are the glasses you see me wearing in all of our home videos from 1984 and 1985. I still have the frames, and here they are. I have the lenses too, but they're not in the glasses now. Something must have happened because the hinged part broke on the arm. So on December 7th, 1985, I went to the eye doctor to get them fixed. But he said that my vision had changed and that I needed new lenses. On December 21st, 1985, I got these glasses. They are exactly the same frames as my first pair. I guess I must have liked them. In early January, I used my old glasses as a prop in my music video for the Rolling Stone song, Shattered. I threw them and acted like they broke, but of course, they were already broken. In late 1987, my glasses were constantly breaking and I was getting them fixed over and over. August 16th, my glasses broke. August 29th, got glasses fixed. October 23rd, glasses broke. October 24th, got glasses fixed. November 10th, my glasses broke. November 12th, got glasses fixed. I think that what must have happened was the glue that was holding this arm on wasn't working. It appears to have been re-glued several times. I wore these glasses until April of 1988. Here's what happened. On March 18th, 1988, I was in gym class. I was a senior in high school. My instructor was Mr. McConnell, and he had been my early American history teacher three years earlier. I guess he got demoted. I didn't like gym class because I wasn't good at sports. On that particular day, we were learning basketball skills. We were doing something called a star drill, where five people threw the ball to each other, and the one in front of the basket tried to throw it in the hoop. I was standing in front of the hoop, daydreaming, probably thinking about a song I was writing. The kid who had the ball didn't even try to get my attention. He just threw it right at my head. My glasses went flying across the gym. I looked over at Mr. McConnell, hoping for some compassion, maybe some sympathy. But Mr. McConnell just yelled out to the whole class, Look, he's skylarking, watching the birds go by. I picked up my glasses and saw that the arm was all cracked and bent out of shape. Now they tended to slide down my nose and wouldn't sit straight on my face anymore. I got my dad to take me to the mall, to the store Lens Crafters, so I could get some new glasses. That was April 5th, 1988. When we got there, they said that I had to have a glaucoma test. My dad said, no way, and we split that place. My dad said that a glaucoma test took two hours, and that I didn't need the test because you couldn't have glaucoma unless you were older. So we went up the road to Pearl Vision Center. The first thing that my dad said when we got there was, he's 17, so he doesn't need the glaucoma test, right? They said that I did have to have the glaucoma test, but that it only took two seconds. While my dad and I waited for my glasses, we wrote the now classic Weird Paul song, Dreaded Glaucoma Test. I went to Lens Crafters at the mall, had a glaucoma test, no test at all. Got so mad, out of the store, what do I need that stupid test for? Then I went to Pearl, sad to say, I'm taking the stupid test. Anyway. I decided I wanted big glasses, like the kind that Joey Ramone wore. I also wanted the lenses to be tinted. I thought I'd look real cool. I was disappointed to find out the slight tint that I did get was very close to the normal clear lens. I wore these glasses for almost 10 years, although these aren't the exact original frames. Sometime around 1990, one of these nose rests had broke off. I asked the guy at Pearl Eye Care to solder it back on, and he ended up melting the frames. So I got this new pair for free. When I was 26, these glasses broke. I was at my job. I worked at a spray paint facility. We carried the heavy medical parts we were coating on long pieces of pipe. 
On January 30th, 1997, one of the pipes flipped from its weight, and as I tried to stop it, I knocked my glasses off. My glasses and the pipe both fell on the floor, but the pipe landed on my glasses. It broke a big chunk of glass out of one lens. It was really sharp. So four days later, I went to the iTeak in Squirrel Hill, and I got these glasses. My wife at the time told me I needed small glasses that would fit my face better. They were designer frames by the company Moto, and cost way more than I wanted to pay, but she liked them. Sometime in 2002, after a relationship breakup, I thought I might feel better about myself if I got contact lenses. I was a little worried I wouldn't be able to get them in and out of my eyes, but it turned out to be easy. I'd still wear the glasses sometimes around the house, but I liked wearing the contacts when I went out. And with contacts, you still have the choice to wear cool shades. A couple years ago, in the summer of 2015, I started noticing I was having trouble seeing close up, but only if I was wearing my glasses or contacts. Last year, I found out from the optometrist that I'm in a small percentage of the population that has this problem. And his solution was for me to stop wearing my glasses altogether and only wear one contact lens in my right eye. Now, my right eye sees far away, but not close up, and my left eye sees close up, but not far away. I thought it sounded kind of crazy, but my eyes have gotten used to it, and so have I. I hope that you enjoyed the complete history of my glasses and optical issues. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.